Hello fellas and welcome back to the Wooden Fit Spoon server. I'm Rowder for Summoner and we're here in my, well, to be, Iron Farm. Uh, we, if we basically finished the last little bits we can do at this precise point in time, i.e. getting the villages in and getting the um, redstone done to give it the cycle. Uh, the only problem with now we need to do is wait for these bloody villagers to actually breed, which is taking its freaking time. Now, he, um, what we need to do with this is basically get these to breed and then put the villagers, the zombies in the middle, and then it should work. But obviously, we have to wait for that, which is just taking way too long. So, in the meantime, while I'm hoping they breed and they're taking their sweet time doing so, like, pretty sweet time doing so, I've had one since the last episode. Or, oops or one right at the end of the episode. The, uh, so today what we're going to do is actually we're going to decorate our base because we've got all this crappy andesite, granite, diorite, cobble and it's looking a bit crap. So what I want to do is I want to spruce the place up it and we're going to start with these two doors. Now we've got having a door here, it's a nice 3x4 or 4x3 door as I should say uh, it's going to be the same there as well. Put that back on. And I already have the tools for this. This is literally everything we need. We've got the redstone stuff and then the secondary stuff as well. I'm hoping it should work with the timings, with it being on the server. Um, I'm hoping it works. Um, so we pretty much need to just get started in that. This door, it's not the biggest door in the world, I'm not going to lie. And because of that, it's not the biggest redstone in the world, to be honest, either. Which is nice and helpful. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig out the stuff I need, which is those. And these two here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start from the bottom. And then we're going to work our way upwards. Because I believe that's probably going to be the easiest method to do so. Right, I have my scaffolding ready and I'll probably want my main blocks and we're gonna start with what we need to do right from the very well pretty much just here that's probably the best place to start because that's where everything is we're gonna start here it's pretty simple um, let's red these ones oh, in fact I'm gonna get rid of these because I don't need them they can go out the way we can actually get some more blocks on the go like red this and pistons and things like that so we'll put these like this so we need the we need double pistons here so we're gonna start there we need a piston on the other side of this so to make it nice and easy I'm just gonna use scaffolding to make it quicker so that so I'm not walking up all the time <clears throat> so, oh. looks like I am gonna be walking up all the time Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky with it being in survival mode. It should be pretty simple. Up on there and on the side of that. And on top of both of those. And then we have our bricks there. That's the bottom. That did not work. Stupid Elytra. These things, they're very temperamental. Very temperamental. There we go. Now, <clears throat> this one is going to be pretty simple to begin with. We'll have the repeaters. Well, the repeaters, the observers. Uh, and they are obviously the wrong way. And there. Yeah. We can put those back. Yeah. Like that and then we need our blocks underneath now these ones obviously we're not going to see these blocks but they're vital to basically making the door work and do, 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 do. let's get cobblestone I'm going to leave that one there for now <clears throat> we 
need it there. Then this is now in the way. So we're going to move those. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, show you how I'll do one and then I'll just do the other one. Oh, okay. Repeater. It was, that's not a repeater. There. And uh, that's on zero ticks. I'm going to follow this round. <clears throat> right, uh, this way. It's going to come this way. Like that. That can go so we have more space to ourselves. Yes, uh, please. No. All the way. This goes around the back end. Like that. There. <clears throat> Let's get the. Um, God, might be easier just to use blocks. There. Then we need to get redstone. We won't need the observers at all now. Redstone, we need to get that. All these blocks. And if you ever know the slightest, slightest bit of redstone, you would know how this thing works. There we go, that's now attached. Whoops. So now if we get a button just on here, just to have a quick test. Uh, there. There we go. That has double extended the pistons. You could will the blocks, which is what we want. So now they are in the smack in the middle, exactly as we need. And that is how we get those ones. And that's how you retract them as well. So then we need Blocks. Yep. So we can um, come in there, there, and oh, oh there, there. I'm gonna have pistons on the other side of that. So I'm having a random guess. I can't get in there. There yeah, we can. Get rid of that because we don't, can't have that there. <clears throat> and we need do 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 uh, pistons, which I can't see now. There, and then the blocks go on top of those. But I'm going to get rid of this block and this block for now because we'll need the space later on. Right. I suppose while I'm up here, I may as well get the next these side this side on as well. Oop, that's not quite what I was going for, but it works. If I can get my pistons in, that's all I need. Not there. There we go. Right. Then, on the other side of this. Ah, that's fine. Now, um, we need, I believe, yes, block in the middle with redstone on top. There. Then we need there, and that's fine. I that, that, that could stay on there. And we have it comes round the front way. Whoa, here. We we'll back up one more. Wait, I can. Right. There. Redstone. Have to move that torch. Put that there so I can see. <clears throat> That's now driving down. And then X actually connects to the Yes, that connects further down. So and we need this one here. There. That's 
this section done. That will then, when this is powered on, it will extend it, obviously. So, so far we've got the middle and the sides. We'll get the top in a second. But we need to get the bottom corner block. But, well, not the bottom corner, the actual bottom two blocks. The ones that will basically go straight above these. Now, to do that, we need to move in the block that would be there. So, it's, so these, this block covers the gap. And then we need another piston to push it along and then and, and these will send up because they double click if we press this um, and then they, um, they should double click why has it decided that's a thing or is it just lag no idea um, it seems like they're working anyway why does it have to do it like that Yeah. Hmm. That seems unusual. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. Yeah. The reason why it's not working at the moment is because there's no block there. Put the block there. And it works. As you see. Obviously. Yeah. So we need basically something to put the put the block there so it triggers to collect it both before the actually um, so before this one goes up so it can lift them up and then again so it can lift them down after now I'm going to move these out the way simply because they'll probably end up causing some havoc in the meantime if we don't now then so what I'll do I'll actually make a stair there so I can get in there we have this piston there, and we have another one there. That piston there, and that's where these blocks would go. Like that. So that goes there. This one then can then go straight. This is the one that needs to be a slab, like that. And then we have redstone there, and there, and there. That's how it's done. And then we get around like that. And then this follows along. That connects, that's fine. And we have a repeater here. I believe this one is on three ticks or four ticks. It's on three ticks. And that is that one then complete this side now that has then basically made it so that the side will push in the block the um, before the um, well after this one extends the block the, the other blocks higher and it will low it will bring will pull the block when it brings the first set of blocks lower and it also triggers the um, top one to bring it down as well the only difference is there, we need to basically run the timings after that, which are we're going to do shortly. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically do this on this other side, because it helps to basically clarify what we do down here. Here we go, fellas. We now have both sides basically sorted until it gets to this point. We'll do that in a minute. What we want to do next, though, is actually get the... Um, connections to the sides. Now I do need my slabs, which I already have. I'm amazed. Right. So we need to put this slab there. And we need one just above that. So how am I going to do I'm going to do this like this. Get rid of a couple blocks so I can skid up there. Like that. And this needs to go there. Right, and then we put redstone there, and then on the top of that, I can also follow it along, and that will go to the top. And that's how we actually get power to the top of the thing. So let's go up to the top. There we go, fellas. The top of here, we have this. We've got our pistons here, and these literally just go 
like that. They could even go straight into blocks into there, which would actually save me the redstone, but hey, I've got so much I don't know what to do with it. And that literally just cycles into there. And that is the top. That's done. Simple as. Easy peasy. And that is technically all the pieces. All we need to do now is the, um, well, get the timings together. So we're going to do that. We'll come down the bottom to do that. Ooh, ghostly noises. Right. <clears throat> the timing circuit on the bottom is probably the trickiest part. Um, basically simply because how it needs to be done. Now, we need a piston. We need basically these two linking together. And we do that with, obviously, like this. Actually, uh, we don't need that one. This is where we need the obsidian. If you haven't noticed, I've got obsidian. We need these here. And we put them there and there. And then we get our redstone block. That goes there. And then we get a couple slime blocks on those two. Now, what I need to, I need to actually dig out that block and that block so we don't stick them together as well as that block they need to be missing which, uh, as long as they are that's fine I'll put that there so we don't yeah, and then we have a sticky piston on the bottom here and then lastly we have our repeaters right we need one going into this one there and one into there, and they are just on standard no tick, just standard one tick, and that's that. And uh, then, and that's how we trigger both of those to go, which then actually triggers the sides and the uh, bottom triggers as well. So, the way we sort this out is relatively simple to be honest. What we do, we get, we need two inputs. We need one from here and one from here. Now, the way I've done it, we need a, a pulse, a, a um, single tip pulse, uh, monostable circuit, that was the terminology I'm looking for. We have that on one, and then we have two of these both on four ticks and then we have that that is our main block we need to send our signals to so let us get the button just for reference that's where all the power is going to now we need to get also the power from here now we're going to do that like this Uh, we need, technically, we need two routes on this. So let's get the redstone. Let's drag it down here. And we actually bring it down to there. And then we also send one around here. Yeah. And then we need repeaters. We need one there at four ticks. One there at four ticks. There at four ticks. And there at one tick. And I believe that should do everything as long as it's all perfectly correct. Now, I'm hoping this is correct. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. But the first thing I'm going to do is check the light levels so we don't get things spawning here. We should do. should be pretty well lit. Yep, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Yep. Yep, that's all good. We shouldn't get anything in there. Now, this is the main block we need to do. So, turn that off now. I believe we have everything sorted. I'll soon know, because things will go incredibly wrong if they're not. So, we need to get in there. Now, hopefully, as long as it's done properly, I'm going to leave these out. And all I need to do is, put, is press that button. And we should see it, the whole door come together without the centre. So let us press the button. Memories of truth. Oops. 
sound relatively promising. I'm hoping it is. Let's have a look. Bingo! We have our door. So if we just press it once more. Ooh. Yes, that's perfect. Bang on. Let's try it with these. There's, see, getting it without those, it's the, um, it's not too bad, but once you've, once you've got these in, these aren't firing at the right time, then it starts pushing things out the way. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh. That may be problematic. Oh no, that's perfect. Perfect. Literally bang on perfect. Um, yeah. Oh, that sounds really well done. Oh no, poor guy. Yep, and that is the door. That is pretty much done. All I need to do now is make a, um, a couple of buttons to send the things through. Pretty much. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them there to close this off. But we're having a button here. Now then, uh, we're going to have the button on there. That's where our button is. Yes, buttons go in there. That's where the buttons go in. Um, I believe this may have to be a stone button. I don't think you can use anything else. Okay, oh lag. That's a bit laggy. Right. I want to do is get the stone button. We'll have one there. We're going to have one here. Uh, now nah, that shouldn't interfere. Yeah, let's go put the redstone here for now. Like that, yeah, that should be fine. And we'll get that there, and I'll put my button on the side. Ooh, is that where it comes out of? No, of course it isn't really it. Right, up there. Right. So I'm going to do this for now. Now, just a final test. Oh, come on. Right. So, here we go. There we go. That's the one. Open sequence. That's the, that one. And here's this one. That one works. And finally, there we go. Magic. That is my door. I'm quite proud of that, to be honest. Uh, probably need to get used to the, um, telling people how it's done. Not much of a tutorial list, I've got to say. But, oh, no, it could stay there, I don't care. But to be honest, that is... As far as I'm concerned, pretty successful. And I'm really happy with that. All I've got to do now is do it with the next ones. Get out. There we go. Right, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to do exactly the same to this one up here. There we go, fellas. We finally have the front door done. Yeah, I'm just going to take that over then. Change these out because they annoy me. The look. There we go. Um, this is one. There goes the door. Sweet. And um, once more. That's just server lag. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's just server lag. Is all that is. And then we press it from this side. And there we go. And that is my two doors. That's the two main doors. I'll probably put a couple of these around the place um, further along in different all sorts of areas. But for now, these are my two front doors. Uh, there we go. Magic. Uh, I might change the design a little bit as well. Might put some of the, um, those, the um, things around it as well. The different types of thing you want. The chiseled. Let's have a look. So, got yeah, just take a little few seconds. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. 
I think the only problem with that is the um, basically whatever the middle f floor tile is is the one that's going to be in the center. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, um, that's kind of the problem. Do -do -do -do. Mm, see, I've got a load of these. The only problem is the way it works. The um, um, because of how the tiling actually works, um, when it's open, if it was to do the outside, all the outside tiles are basically the three on the side, the two middles on the top, and then the three this side, and then the two, um, the two outer corners. So it look a bit unusual. Um, I could change the top sides there, but these two would have to be would be basically blank. So really, what you want to do is leave all of them the same except the two centers, because then they drop and then they look like a pathway. That's probably the best thing I can think of. Um, the only thing there, the only thing I can think of putting there, would be cracked, because I don't. Because um, to be honest, that I don't think will look at pretty as good. In the um, sort of just it would look decent when it's closed, but when it's open, I don't reckon it would look as good. Um, whereas the cracked, it just seems to look more like it's been walked on more often, or better yet, mossy. I reckon, but then you don't really want a mossy cobble in the um, center of your door. The only problem I think is ah, actually, I'm going to rectify that right now. There we go. That's a bit better. Much more like it. That's much more happier. Oh, there we go. That's just server lag. Then put these on here. There we go. That's looking much neater. I like in that one. I want to rectify all this stuff because this is, of, as you can see, horrible. Utterly disgusting. So what I want to do is I'm going to fix all this lot out. So it actually gives me a actual border, and I'm probably going to put the sand, the not sand, the, the gravel back up here. Uh, yes, that's pretty much the last thing I'm going to do in this episode. So I'm going to get some, going to get all the gravel I have, which isn't a lot. It's 23 plus about maybe a stack and a half in the chest, about two stacks. I don't think it's going to finish this lot. It may, it may not. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to sort this out, and I'll be back with you just after that. And fellas, we're back here with the last little bit. Um, so far, I've done a little bit of decorating, just like the main entrance area, a bit further forward up this end. Um, however, I just wanted to clock it, show you this thing. This is going to be difficult. I'm probably going to break my legs. Yeah. Now, as you can see. I am actually yeah, on the next layer. I'm actually on the second one now. We've got two down there. For some reason, we don't get very many at all, and then we get a huge amount at once. It's really weird. But, I don't know. So, oh, it's, it's got out again. Somehow, he's getting out, and I have no idea how he's doing it. And it's annoying, because I've got to get him back in all the time. Oh, I'll do that later. <clears throat> unless you unless you guys know how to do it, because I can't. I don't understand how he's getting out of it. At all. Uh, I'll sort it out in a bit. But we're on pretty much the second floor now. We need three, six, nine, ten. Ten more, and we are sorted for this thing. Please. That's the wrong button. That's the button I'm need, looking for. There we go. Right, if we head up this way, we'll get a nice glimpse of the new area I've designed. And I've kind of gone with the design we stated pretty much last, having the um, chiseled around the outside and having the um, normal stone in, stone bricks in the middle. And actually, it looks quite nice, to be honest. So, stand here. Are you ready? Bing! There we go. Ooh, that was a bit laggy. But yeah, this is how I'm going to sort of start designing the area. Particularly this main entrance hall, a bit down here. Um, 
I, am, I do have some kind of a um, thing for this, although I have realised literally just um, what I wanted required me to have a five wide gap, which was whoopsie on my behalf. Bring down this, and here we have the main little entranceway. We've got a little walkway here. So this is looking much more nicer now. I've even put stairs here. We just need to sort out this thing because it's got a lot of stuff in here, but I kind of like having the stairs. So now I can walk up and walk down it, which is much better. I have a long shot. And then we have this bit. I do need to do the walls. I'll probably start doing them before, between, well, probably start to do that between the episodes because the, um, I want to sort of start decorating the area a lot more because it's making it feel a lot more homely. Just doing this floor makes it feel more homely. So next episode, I want to probably get this one done. <clears throat> but one thing I'm quite proud of out the front, if we go out here, hopefully nothing's going to try and kill me. I'll get this sword out. And I'm not going to lie, I thought that was something. But this, I like. This front door... I do like the look of this door, when, especially when it's closed. It's got this, got kind of an Aztec feel to it. And it's kind of half what I was going for, to be honest. But this entrance, and now I've cleaned up the outside, you barely noticed there was anything wrong with it. So I am really loving the entrance to this. But the only, the only I saw now is this, uh, this bridge. So we'll have to get this thing sorted. And ooh, my farm's going well. Grandpa, we're pleased. Um, a couple of garrets and things. But yeah, I'm loving the look of the entrance hall now. I do have some more. I do have to replace the gravel over there and right down the back. Um, I might do that after I've decorated. Well, the back one. I might have, I'll do that after I've decorated the, um, the actual area. Simply because it's going to be... If once I'm changing all the roofing and everything, I'm probably going to get quite a bit of the uh, gravel fall through because of how it works and how it is and everything. So I'll probably wait until I've sorted that and then I'll start putting all the stuff in. So this stuff's because like up here, if we go just literally up here. Blooming Endermen are nicking my blocks, little bastards. But yeah, if we go on this one, um, pretty much not all of it, but some of this... Yeah, it's, it's literally just open to the uh, to the earth, so I want to sort of the, uh, block off the main area so we don't have to look at it. Put that. Oh, I reckon. Yeah. Hmm. I did. I swear I put something up here to stop like anyone getting it. But, oh, no matter. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what it is. If we get rid of some of these, and you just get. Things like this one, like all this lot. This is open, open air. Um, so I'm hoping I could just replace these. So there's no point me putting gravel on top of these because it would just end up doing exactly the same, having gravel just fall straight through when I replace them. So I'll do them after. Well, I'll design this, then I'll put the gravel on after. And I do really need to make a staircase here as well so we can climb up and down each level. That's something I gotta do so I can get rid of this bit as well because I don't want this eyesore either. But that's for a future project because in the next episode, what I want to be doing is the mining area. I want to sort of get that sort of to spec now because I should have enough gold to get the um, thing up and down. And I want to get this the, um, this tunnel thing in the go right straight to the top of here. I'm hoping by the time we've got this room sorted, we can get the, um, or relatively nicely decorated, we can actually get the um, iron farm up and running, hopefully. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, these can actually go now, I don't want these. So, we, um, yeah. So, in the, mean in the meantime, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like this episode, subscribe to see some more, check out my Twitter, and check out my Twitch. I did a stream the other day, um, about a week ago. Uh, oh, that's a sword. Yes. Yeah, I did a little Pokemon stream about a week ago. I'm going to go through the um, the original um, Pokemon Red version, only using the um, water-type Pokemon, which might be quite fun. Uh, 
yeah, check out my Twitch every so often. Um, or, or follow it if you want some updates as well. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.